hello everyone welcome back to my channel this tutorial is on the splatter brush effect on photoshop so please keep watching to know more first open a picture by clicking on file open and select quick selection tool to outline your chosen picture you may use any selection tool you want i'm using the quick selection tool because my photo is easy and will be quick to do make sure you have selected add selection which is plus sign and drag with mouse and select the outline of the image if you have selected out of the part you want you can press alt on the keyboard and perfect it or use the subtract tool once you are happy with the selection right click and refine edge increase smooth around 20 feather 1 and contrast 20 as well then click ok then click edit and copy or press ctrl and c on the keyboard for a shortcut now create a new photoshop document by clicking file new and enter in the size of your choice and click ok give your document a nice look my background is white and foreground is black then click on adjustment layer gradient and change it to radial and i'll select the foreground to background gradient and click ok i'll reverse it i'll increase the scale you can increase or decrease to size that looks good to you now click ok also you may change the opacity as i am doing after that paste the copied image we selected onto this document to do this you may simply press ctrl and b on your keyboard or click edit and paste you can resize the picture by pressing ctrl and t Free transform and click the confirmation mark when you are done now I want to give this some curve effects to adjust it so click on the adjustment layer curves and I'll try the blue channel and experiment what looks nice this is a trial and error process so feel free to test it out until you are happy now i will set the rgb channel you can choose any of them and i'll try to do a different curve with this channel when you are happy close it then select the curves layer and picture layer keep pressing shift and clicking the mouse if you press ctrl and g on your keyboard these two layers will become a group select the gradient fill layer and create a new layer go to bottom and click on this create new layer icon the new layer is created select the brush tool and choose your brush style and here it's a splatter style brush for the foreground color select the eyedropper tool and choose the color from the picture now click the brush tool again change the angle of the brush but take your time and be wise
if you find that the brush you choose isn't working for you you can change it and as you paint you can change the color by selecting the eyedropper tool and extracting a different color from the picture I'll keep changing my brush styles and if you want to know which ones I am using they are listed in the description box you can keep going back the forth with the brush styles color size and layers you can resize the brush by pressing square brackets on keyboard left square bracket to making the brush size smaller to make it bigger press right square bracket on keyboard Next click on the group layer and create a layer mask. Go on at the bottom and click add layer mask. Make sure foreground color is black. And start painting again. You can change the brush if you want. When you are happy with the way the edit has turned out, you can save the image as a JPEG. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment and share and keep coming back for more tutorials. See ya.